Hi! In this short tutorial video I will show how to fine-tune your product page with Creative Elements Page Builder. Product pages are one of the most important parts of an online store. As you can see this product description does not use the full width of our page, and is therefore a bit too long. Even though the content is good, the overall look is not so much. With Creative Elements you can create product descriptions with rich content, which arouse the interest of visitors. This new product page contains exactly the same content like the previous one, but with a much prettier way. So let's dive in and build our own product description. As you can see I have already made a copy of the product. You can do the same and open it. On the description tab we can copy it and remove the contents of the old description. You can paste it into a text editor so you can use it again. I will use the display footer product module position to create the new description, because in classic theme it will use the full width of the page. The first section of our description will highlight the key features of the product. At first we add a heading widget, right in our title. On the product page the H1 tag is the product name itself, so for this title we can use the H2 tag, align it to the middle. We can set a bigger font size, and the letter distance can be reduced slightly. It looks great now. Let's go to the Advanced tab, and we can add a little more space above and under the title with the margins. OK, now we can build our layout with Call to Action widgets. Add a new section. Drag a Call to Action widget onto it. We will use the cover skin. Choose the image which will be the background of this element. Now open the content tab. For the title of this element we can use the H3 tag. We can remove the button by deleting the text. Enter our title. And description. Navigate to the Style tab, align the text to the left, and position to the bottom. Adjust the minimum height so that the image is clearly visible. As you can see by hovering the text also grows. I would like to change this, so now I set the hover animation of the contents to none. And I also remove the dark overlay on the image, because the text will be still readable without it. Great! On the Content tab we can add smaller spacing between the title and description. Set the font size. And set a smaller letter spacing. We can do the same with the description too. To be consistent with the design, I use the same proportions, the difference will be the text color. I set it to light gray. Super, it looks the way it should. To speed up our work, we can duplicate the widget, and move to the right. Change the background image. As you can see the texts are not so readable on this light background. So we can choose a dark color for the title. And a dark gray for the description. It looks great. Now all we have to do is change the texts. On the content tab you can add the title. And the description. After we are ready with the first two element, let's go to the section and duplicate it. As you can see, if we duplicate a section, all the elements in it are duplicated. Drag the second column in front of the other, and set the inverse of the previous ratio. Now we have to change the image. The text is not well readable, so let's go to the Style tab, and change the vertical position to top. Great! Now we can write the title and description too.
Let's choose the other widget and set the image. Since the position of the texts are good now, we only need to write in the new content. Okay, this area looks great. Now we can duplicate this title above. So we can drag down and reuse it for the next section. In this section we will show our customers what they can find in the box. Because three components are included in our package, we add a new section with three columns. Drag and drop an image widget to the first column. Choose the image of the first component for it. In this case it will be the headphone itself. Enter the name to the caption field. As you can see the text is too close to the image. So navigate to the caption settings and give a bigger line height for the text. We can set a little bigger font size too. Now that we are ready with the appearance, we can duplicate this element and place in the other columns too. Let's select the next image which will be the smart case. And for the third item, the cable. We even have to enter the correct name of the components. Great! The next section will contain some frequently asked questions. So duplicate the title again, just like before. Move it down. And enter the new title. For displaying the questions and their answers, we will use the toggle widget. This element will be very useful as it does not require too much space on the page. Let's make some fine tune in the design. We can give a little bigger font size. And line height too. This will be great so. All we have to do now is enter our questions and answers. Make sure you place only the most necessary questions here that are actually related to the product. Let's save the page. And view it. So this is the way how you can design product description on Press the Shop with Creative Elements. Go ahead and explore the possibilities on your own site too. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials.